Let's draw the bones of the foot. First one we're going to draw is going to be the heel bone, or what's otherwise known as the calcaneus. Now with this drawing, what we're going to have to understand is that this is going to be a top-down view. So this is going to be the calcaneus. We're going to see another bone It's going to be a very oddly shaped bone, and we're going to cover this bone extensively because it's such an important bone to ankle and foot mechanics. And this is going to be our talus. Now, just distal to the talus is going to be this very oblong, oval shaped bone. And this is going to be your navicular. Again, another bone we're going to spend some time on because it's such an important bone. On the lateral side, we're going to have a large, more rectangular squared off bone. And this is going to be your cuboid. We're also going to see three bones that butt up against the navicular and the cuboid. And these three bones are collectively going to be called the cuneiforms. And we're going to have three cuneiforms. We're going to have a lateral cuneiform, I'm going to write an L in the actual bone. We're going to have an intermediate cuneiform designated by the I, and we're going to have a medial cuneiform. So in terms of knowing this material, it's not going to be good enough just to know that those are the cuneiforms. We need to know which is the medial, which is the intermediate, and which is the lateral. Now moving on from there, This is where your metatarsals are. We're obviously going to have five of those. I understand this is not drawn to scale. You guys know my drawings well enough by now. Collectively, these are going to be the metatarsals. These will be numbered 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. From there, we're going to start moving into our phalanx. So these are our phalanges. Phalanges are going to have three parts each. proximal, middle, and distal. And we're going to see, just like with our hand, that the digits 2 through 5 will have a proximal, middle, and distal phalanx each. But just like the thumb in the hand, we're only going to see two of those parts. So just be aware of that. Be aware that for the distal phalanx, that's going to be this section here. This is going to be our middle phalanx. And this will be our proximal phalanx. Also note, and we're going to get into this obviously with our foot and our ankle, we need to know which are the rear foot components, which are the mid foot components, and which are the forefoot components. 
So the other thing I need to look at here, we're going to draw these big green lines designating what is the forefoot, what is the midfoot, and what is the rear foot. This section here, this is going to be my rear foot. Midfoot, obviously in the middle. Forefoot is going to be the distal end. So what we need to understand, because we're going to look at the different mechanics of the foot in terms of what the rear foot is doing, what the midfoot is doing, and what the forefoot is doing. So it's very important at the beginning that we understand what bones are in which section of the foot.